and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a beauty try on haul. So I'm going to be trying everything on and testing it out and also like hauling it at the same time and everything. So this one's a little bit different and I'm really excited about that. I kind of wanted to just like you know show you the products but also try them on so I decided to do it this way. It's kind of like doing like a chit chat ready and also hauling something at the same time which I love. So I got stuff from Ulta, Target and also TJ Maxx. So I'm going to be hauling this all for you. I already have everything on my face. I did want to come to you with makeup on so like you could see like how everything looks on my face before the video starts. So I got a bunch of different stuff and I'm just super excited to be sharing it with you. I want to see some of the beauty products I picked up and just so you know all the stuff is drugstore and affordable products. They did get stuff from Colourpop so technically it's not all drugstore it's just affordable but I'm super excited to be sharing this with you and I love hauls so if you love hauls too please give this video a thumbs up and if you want to see what I hauled today you're in the right place just keep on watching. Okay so let's just get started. I have bags literally all around me. So I have a bag from TJ Maxx, Ulta, Target, and a few things from Colourpop. And some of these are going to be reviews and some of these are just going to be first impressions. And like you know from the intro, this is going to be like a try on haul. So I'm going to like haul it while I try it. So it's kind of like doing a first impressions or review in a haul all in one video, which I love. And I saw Nicole Renee Cutler do this recently. So if you haven't checked her out and if you haven't seen her video, I'm going to link it down below because she did something like this and I was thinking about doing something like this. And then when she did it, I was like, yup, that's a great idea. Thanks for the inspiration. <laughs> Seriously though. Okay, so we're going to kind of be starting off with Target and everything. So the first thing I got is a primer and this is from Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Face primer. It just looks like this and it's just in very simple packaging. You get 0.84 fluid ounces in this and let's see what it says. Magic potion refines pores, fills fine lines, brightens complexion, evens out skin tone. And I've used this maybe three or four times and so far I really like it. I heard about this from Nicole Renee Cutler like I've mentioned before. She said this is the same thing as the coverall primer. They just renamed it or something and they relaunched this is and I love this primer. It really fills in your pores. It like smooths out your skin which is great if you have acne because you know that like you just want your skin to be very smooth and it has a little bit of a silicone feel to it but it's mostly like a lotion which is what I love and everything. Kind of reminds me of my Smashbox Primer Light which has been my favorite primer these past couple months and if I look over here it's because that's where my mirror is. So yeah I really like this primer. I really I think it's like a nice primer. It really smooths out your skin. It blurs it. It kind of just gives it a nice base for foundation. So I'm loving it and I'm super happy that I tried it out. Okay so next from Target I picked up a new foundation and I actually have a first impression of this going up probably either before this video or after. I'm not really sure when it, when it's actually going up but you'll see this very soon. I'm hopefully gonna get this haul up after that video because I feel like I should post the first impression first and everything so you can just see like my real first impression so that's probably what I'll do and yeah so this isn't new but it is new to me and this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Demi Matte Finish Foundation. It has air like texture and it's oil free. I really like this foundation it's really nice it does keep you matte and everything it's like a demi matte and it actually stays on very well. And I have mine in the shade 102 which is the second shade in the range of course and I just put a little bit on the back of my hand and that's kind of what it looks like. Now I'm going to be hauling something from TJ Maxx which is a brush and this foundation by the way is a little bit more liquidy but it's not like slipping down my hand so it's a little bit thick a little bit liquidy but not like really thick like their total cover so now I'm gonna haul something from TJ Maxx which I'm gonna use to apply my foundation today and this is one of those oval brushes so this one is from the brand the cream shop and that's kind of what the brush looks like it has like that coppery rose gold shade I don't know what to call it and it's their it's their foundation X powder brush so you can use this for powder or liquid foundation I believe which I've been using it for and I've only used it a couple times and I got this for eight dollars if you're curious so definitely don't go for like the Artiste ones because those ones are hella expensive and yeah so this is the oval multi-use gentle oval multi-uses 
Gentile, I don't know, that's what it says, the Oh My God brush with more than five times the number of fibers of a, com of a conventional brush. This re revolutionary tool applies makeup with a complete control and fluidability, super soft, super fine fibers, and densely comp compressed to provide unparable ab application that it makes you guess, oh my God. I had to read that description, like, yeah. And so yeah, you're supposed to just use this in circular motions. It says, use with wet cosmetics without, without unsightly streaks or patchiness. We're gonna use this for my foundation today. So I like to just get some and apply it. So yeah, I go in circular motions. So I usually go in circular motions all over my face, my chair shakes, and around my nose, I don't get how you do circular motions. So I kind of just go up and down. Like, sue me if I'm doing that wrong, but actually don't sue me, please. So yeah, you just go into circular motion. Gives you like pretty good coverage. And I feel like I'm not using that much product. And I've kind of done the hang of it first. I was just just like what the heck is this what but i do like it and i do think it's a nice brush really nice for foundation and not gonna lie sometimes i still stipple my foundation on so yeah i do really like this foundation you'll know more about it in the first impressions so if that video is up already i will link it up above but i do love this foundation i think it's really nice love the finish and love just the coverage that it gives and the brush i love as well i love this brush i love how it applies my foundation it applies it pretty fast i do want to try in a bigger one of these just to like see if i could get like like more coverage faster because this one is a little tinier but it does still work very well and I do love it okay so the next thing I got from Target is this concealer and this is from NYX this is the NYX HD photogenic concealer and I have mine in the shade fair CW02 and yeah I actually got mine in fair because their selection is really really strange like they'll have like the light shade will be very peachy so I went with this because just a better shade so I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes kind of in that triangle sense and kind of bringing it down a little bit and this one is not as thick as my tart shape tape which is what I'm used to so obviously like it's like I have to apply a tad bit more go in more and I'm also gonna apply it to my eyelids as you can see and then I'm also gonna apply it to the center of my face so like down my nose in the here. And this is what the packaging looks like if you're wondering it's just supposed to like you know conceal and it's supposed to like just give you good coverage and everything and i need to go wet my sponge i'm just gonna go wet my real techniques diamond sponge and i'll be right back now i'm just going to blend this in like usual i have used this one as well a couple times and it's a really nice concealer it's very lightweight so if you like like to do like very simple makeup days sometimes i think this would be a great concealer for you because it is more lightweight and everything but it just have pretty good coverage of course it's not like the coverage of the heart shape tape because very few concealers compared to that coverage like that's amazing coverage so it's kind of hard to top that but it is pretty good okay next now digging into the Ulta stuff so the first thing I got from Ulta which I only got two things so it's not gonna be a ton of stuff but the first thing I got from Ulta is from Essence and this is the Essence All About Matte Mixing Compact Powder it just looks like this and everything and it's basically like just a transparent powder and everything like and it's very like smooth here I'm gonna try to swatch this for you yeah see it's translucent which I love I've been looking for a better translucent powder because I feel like the one I'm using is not actually translucent and it says it Extremely smooth fixing compact powder for a matte and all natural finish all day. Helps to blend blush foundation colors together. Fixes makeup and applied as a finishing powder for all skin tones. So I've used this a couple times and I'm super excited to be using it today. So I'm gonna set my under eyes with it and probably a little bit of my face even though I already put powder on. So I like to just, you know, take this in the pan and just apply it to my under eyes, my eyelids even. So it kind of like swirl it. And then I like to, yes, go under my eyelids again. And then I like to go down the center of my face. Then I'll take my Kabuki brush and just go over that. Just try to set everything, make it matte. And yeah, I really like this powder just because it's very, like, simple and 
translucent which I love translucent powders because you know like they're no color so you don't have to worry about like anything and I just like it because it's simple and I like pressed powders just because I feel like they're easier to work with they're not so messy okay so now we're going on to the stuff from Colourpop I have quite a few things so I think what I'm gonna do is haul it first and then kind of go about it and everything because I'm not gonna use everything so I am gonna swatch some of the things and stuff like that and I'm gonna swatch everything anyways so yeah okay so the first thing I got is actually I got because I ordered something and when you order something you got this limited edition shadow and I love this it's in their different packaging it's in like blue packaging which I think is super cute and this is one of the super shocked shadows and this one is in birthday cake and it's such a pretty shade I actually wore it to yesterday I think it's so pretty it's like a pinky kind of rose gold shade which I really think is gorgeous it's super pretty and I don't think I'm gonna wear this today but I do love it I think it's super pretty and it's just gorgeous so then I got an eyeliner and this is from Kathleen lights little line line she had with them last summer and everything like that just the ColourPop cream gel liner and this is in mr. Bay. I wanted like a brown eyeliner so I got this and I I used it on my waterline yesterday and really liked it and I might use it today but I'm still gonna swatch it just so you can see like what kind of color it is and it's like a brownish almost warm brown which I really like and they say to like just you know keep it pretty down low like don't screw it up like all the way because it is so it doesn't like you can't sharpen it if you break it and yeah that's what it looks like it's just a nice brown which I really like it's pretty creamy which I do like and it's just very nice so I'm probably gonna use this like on my waterline or something and then I got four shadows and I'm gonna swatch these and then put them into my palette because I already have like one of those palettes and everything okay so the first color I picked up is Bel Air and I'm not sure what this is described as but I'll try to describe it to you basically just like a cooler toned warm brown that's the Bel Air swatch it's just a nice kind of caramely brown color which I really like okay and then I got a more champagne color and this one's called ringer so yeah that one is in ringer it's super pretty it's like a champagne gold color which I love okay and then I got another matte shade and this one's called cloud nine and this is cloud nine and this is what it looks like it's like a purpley brown I actually know that for sure because that's what how they described it on the website and this one is very creamy as well it's like a purpley brown and I needed a deep color because I didn't really have one so this is cloud nine and then the last shade I got is double dates but actually I think looks different in person it looks a lot different online but I still love it and this is like a purpley lilac color which I don't think I'm gonna wear today but it is gorgeous and my palette is looking fuller, which I'm pretty happy about. Like, look at that. Okay, so first I'm gonna be taking Firefly and setting my lid with this. Next, we are going to be taking Bel Air. And yeah, these do have a tiny bit of kick up, but it's not like anything where you can't handle it or anything like that. Next, I'm gonna be taking Ringer and just putting that and just putting that all over my lid. And this is like the definition of the perfect gold champagne color. Like, look at that. And it's super pigmented. So next I'm gonna go in that outer corner with that shade called cloud nine and I'm only gonna be taking a little bit and then be tapping off that excess just so it's not too intense and I'm gonna go on that very outer corner maybe a little bit into the crease but mostly blending that into that outer. Okay lastly from Target I got a mascara and this one's from Maybelline. This is the Colossal Big Shot which I've heard so much about. Everybody has been like talking about this and I love this mascara. I've been using it for about like a week now and I really like it and I'm gonna be doing like a review on it very soon. I decided not to do it as a first impression this time. So it just says fully loaded volume and one coat. But yeah this is the packaging up close and then you just unwing it and then this is what the wand looks like and I like to kind of like get the excess mascara off of the wand so that way I'm not dealing with more than I want to be if you know what I mean. And then I like to take this and just apply it to my lashes normally and then I'll also go like you know like that and I don't know why but sometimes my lashes look really strange. Okay so this is what my eyelashes look like after the mascara. I did probably like one maybe two coats of it and everything. I really like how my lashes look and they just
just look very long and like lengthened and kind of voluminous but I really like how my eyelashes look and yeah I think it does a really great job of just you know coating them. Okay so the last thing I got from Marshalls is this palette from Profusion. This is the Profusion Studio Contour Palette. This has three contour shades, two matte highlighting shades, and one shimmer highlight. And this is only $3.99 so $4 for a highlighting palette and this is pretty comparable probably to Kat Von D. Yeah it's probably the Anastasia palette. Like it's, it's pretty similar and comparable so with $4 versus probably like $50. This is a good deal and everything. So I am going to swatch all these shades just so you can see what they look like. So that's what the highlight looks like. It's a very nice highlight. I'll probably use that on my face today because I'm not going to use another highlight just because might as well try it out and show you. And then that is the under eye shade and then this is also another shade you can use under your eyes to set. And then we have three bronzers. So we have this cooler toned one and they are kind of powdery as I'm applying them. But then once you blend them out they blend so seamlessly. That's what all the shades look like. We have one shimmer which is the top one, the two setting colors, and the three contour shades. This looks like to be a really good palette so we're going to use this. I already did set my eyelids but I'm just going to mix the yellow and kind of the peachy tone and kind of go under my eyes with that. So yeah. We're just gonna set a tiny bit just right under that eye and kind of there. And now I'm going to contour a tad bit. I'm just gonna be taking that cool tone shade and then the medium shade and just contour that. And this is all plastic, which I kind of don't like. I kind of wish they went for just a heavier plastic, if anything, because when you try to tap it off on this, it makes a weird noise, which might not bother some people, but for me, I feel like that just isn't that great. So yeah, I'm just gonna go on like my forehead, cheeks, I'm gonna try to really blend it and then it's always important to go down on your neck just so it's not like you bronzed and then you have like your neck is just white and then most importantly I always like to blend blend everything just so it's not doesn't have any harsh edges or harsh lines okay and I'm gonna do a little bit of this brown eyeliner on my waterline okay so yeah I used that a tiny bit I do like it so I'm gonna go put on some blush and fill my eyebrows and I'll be right back to do my highlight and also my lipstick. Okay, so I'm back and I have my blush and my eyebrows on. All those products will be linked down below. I'm gonna test out this highlight. It looks pretty promising like on my hair, so my fit will be on here. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't really have any shades like that. Really pigmented. It's not as like wham bam is like any like Becca highlight I have or even like the Smashbox Casey Holmes palette, but it does have good pigmentation for the price. You always have to think think of the price point. So yeah, I really like this palette. I think it's really nice. And yeah, it's really nice too because it does have like step-by-step step step instructions on the back of it. Okay, so the last thing I got from Ulta is from Maybelline and this is the new, the Maybelline Into Nudes collection and this is in the shade Almond Rose. I really like this and Maybelline lipsticks are probably one of my favorites. This is a nice nude kind of warm color, like a warm like pink. So I really do like it. I don't really know how to describe and they have quite a few shades so if you want something super nude or if you want something more brownish or they even have like peachy colors if you want something like that. This is definitely a good line to shop and they also have a new bolts line out but I didn't pick anything up from that. So yeah I really like this. It's probably one of my new favorite lipsticks. It's super pretty. Like, look at this color. It's gorgeous. So that's it for today's haul. I really liked trying all this stuff on and hauling it at the same time for you. So if you want me to do more videos like this, let me know down below. If you want me to do my hauls like this, let me know that down below. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below any other videos you'd like to see next besides like hauls. And please subscribe if you haven't already because I post videos every single week and I would love for you to be subscribed to my channel because I post pretty frequently. And also hit the notification bell down below if you want to be notified when I post a video you'll just be notified like right when the video goes up and you'll love it I know it and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye I wanna be like I wanna be like most girls I wanna be like